Many countries pass breed discrimination laws banning owners from adopting certain breeds. Sometimes it is landlords and home insurance companies that enact these laws. I, I don't know about this. I don't like These rules are necessary since some dogs are ruthless and have proven to be fatal to humans. <laughs> these 15 dog breeds are the most banned in the world. 15. Japanese Tosa. The Japanese Tosa is also called the canine sumo wrestler of the Orient. This gives you a glimpse of what to expect from the breed. It has since been used as a fighting dog in competitions for honor, not blood. Unfortunately, its roles have changed in the last few decades. The Tosa is large and has a brown or black body. It has a narrow tail, a short coat, and a tall body. It drools a lot, unlike many species. As for their size, they measure between 75 to 250 pounds. Yes, they grow this big, given favorable conditions. During Tosa fighting, the dogs wrestle each other, and when moans, bleeds, yelps, or vocalize any sound, it signals the end of the game. These dogs are banned in several countries like England, Ireland, Australia, etc., because they threaten human survival. Because they are bred for fighting, they do not tolerate other dogs. They are also too protective of their families and may be aggressive to strangers. In countries where they are accepted, there are few restrictions. Owners must be experienced, as first-time owners are not allowed to own them. These strict ownership policies are constantly updated and help you decide if owning one is worth it. While they do not require much exercise, they need basic training, as staying in one spot for extended periods makes them bored. 14. Dogo Argentino as a rule of thumb, Dogo Argentino is dangerous to other dogs, but not to people. However, because they are bred to fight, they can go overboard with their aggression and attack humans. This animal is a mix of old fighting dogs of Cordoba and other breeds like Bull Terriers and Mastiffs. It is capable of guarding its territory and its owners. In the wild, they are hunters known to hunt big names like wild boars and pumas. Their muscles make them robust and efficient working dogs. You can get them to be gentle with humans, but this requires deliberate training. Dogo Argentinos are friendly and humble after training, but if they don't get enough of it, you're at risk having them in your home. There have been cases of them harming their owners. You want to avoid taking that risk. Due to their aggressive tendencies, they are banned in Israel, Denmark, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, Iceland, etc. If you have kids or other pets in the house, it is not advisable to risk their lives by introducing this dog as part of the family. Like most agile dogs, Dogo Argentino likes plenty of exercises. They are not ideal for homes with limited open space. Even if you have a small house, take them to a dog park daily to release their energy. This serves as both training and exercise. Should your country allow you to own this breed, avoid adults. Get a puppy and train it from scratch. That way, it gets used to the family and builds a connection with everyone. 13. American Pit Bull Terrier The American Pit Bull Terrier shouldn't have been on this list had humans not forced it here. Trouble started when this animal was used in illegal dogfights. Fighting ordinarily makes one aggressive, so they gladly fit that description. It becomes worse if they are badly raised. They can attack their owners and visitors alike. Experts argue they are not as bad as we paint them. In December 2022, a pit bull mauled a woman to death in South Africa, and in January 2023, it attacked a seven-year-old. Efforts to free the child from its grip with a cane proved abortive. Data suggest pit bulls constitute 6% of the population of dogs in the U.S., but are responsible for 68% of dog bite attacks since 1982. Their bites are also responsible for more dog fatalities than any other dog breed. Sources say children are more at risk of attacks. However, experts say pit bulls make for excellent pets. To justify this, they noted that for every story of an attack, thousands of videos show them smiling. Their dangerous reputation has blinded our eyes to the positives. Should they get hold of their target, they use their strong claws to clamp down on them. Getting the dog to let go takes more than a consistent effort. The victim must be the luckiest human on earth if they break free. Because they are prevented from living in certain kinds of homes, insurance would not cover the household if there's damage. 12. Presa Canario 
The Presa Canario is among the world's most powerful dog breeds. They are often considered loyal guard dogs if adequately raised. However, their aggressive side is reserved for critical situations. Attacks happen often and in most cases are deadly. While any dog breed can bite anyone, some have a higher tendency for violence. The Presa Canario is one such. These strong-willed animals are difficult to control. Their appearance further enhances their reputation as they look incredibly intimidating. This breed's origin is traced back to the 15th and 16th centuries when they were discovered on the Canary Islands off the Spanish coast. They are believed to be descendants of Perro de Ganado Majorero, a type of mastiff indigenous to the area. They were initially bred as work dogs, but soon became guards over farms on the Canary Islands. At the time, they protected the farm against wild animals and killed them if they tried to prey on farm stock. They were also used in dog fighting due to their intimidating size. After the sport was banned, the dog was controlled, causing their numbers to plummet. By 1982, the figures were so low that an association was formed to ensure their survival. They can typically get on well with other dog species and cats. However, you expect little from an untrained dog. They sometimes become brutal even when it is unnecessary. Rather than own a Presa Canairo, you need a gentle dog. 11. Neapolitan Mastiff The next entry is similar to the others, so here's the thing. The Neapolitan Mastiff's size alone makes it dangerous. Measuring 24 to 31 inches tall, this dog is one of the tallest breeds. I mean, who wouldn't fidget at the sight of the massive dog? They can be dangerous, but early socialization makes them less aggressive. They are sometimes not cool with strangers, especially if they sense a threat. Because they are protective and loyal to their owners, you have nothing to fear. Well, you should be more concerned about the people around you, because a fatal bite can land you in trouble. When this dog meets a new person, ensure the person is calm, as being pensive could be misinterpreted as a threat. This breed is also aggressive towards other dogs, especially those of the same sex. If you want different breeds at home, consider buying different sex. That way, both breeds can coexist. Training your Neapolitan Mastiff to be less aggressive takes a lot of work. However, after getting the hang of it, you realize it is worth it. Whether or not you have kids or other dogs, you must train them to be less aggressive, as you may never know who will visit tomorrow. And while training, give the animal enough time to exercise so that they healthily get their energy. 10. Fila Brasileiro While the Fila Brasileiro is a beautiful dog, many owners shy away from buying them, thanks to their aggressive tendencies. Also called the Brazilian Mastiff, males weigh around 180 pounds and stand at 28 to 30 inches. It was first developed in Brazil for protection. It was also sent to capture fleeing slaves and return them to their enslavers. The breed has excellent tracking skills that are highly sought after by law enforcement agencies. They may be helpful to individuals and the cops, but are extremely dangerous. Because they are wary of strangers, they can hurt them without remorse. Unsurprisingly, they are banned in the UK, New Zealand, Denmark, Norway, Malta, and Cyprus, to name a few. There have been countless stories of unprovoked attacks from this dog. In 2016, it attacked a man walking on foot in a residential neighborhood. Despite calls and screams from neighbors, it persisted until a neighbor hit it with a baseball bat. For some reason, it wanted to take him down at all costs. A fila brasileiro must be trained early and obtained from an established breeding line. Before purchasing this dog, consider its genetic background, temperament, and behavioral history. You cannot afford to make a mistake raising this animal, otherwise it threatens the community. 9. Wolf Dog The volume of wolf hybrid dogs has increased in recent years thanks to breeders. The experiment has so far yielded results, which explains why we have more of these hybrids. Experts estimate that over one million of them live in the U.S. As you may expect, these breeds are prone to more bites than other domesticated animals. Studies show that no amount of socialization is enough to have them as pets. Safe to say that the other breeds on this list are lesser evils. They may seem docile and less aggressive, but are more prone to human attacks. They come sixth in the index of dog bite fatalities. This explains why many states in the U.S. are leaving nothing to chance. 
In an effort to control dog bites, they have banned this wolf-dog hybrid that kills at least one dozen people every decade. A wolf-dog is a cross between a domestic dog and a gray wolf. The Siberian Husky, Alaskan Malamute, and German Shepherd are examples of a wolf-dog. If you're considering adopting a wolf-dog, you should know the different percentages of wolf DNA in the animal. The higher it is, the more ruthless it becomes. Because wolves are shy animals, they will likely avoid contact with humans. However, they won't hesitate to inflict harm on an intruder. While these intelligent dogs are useful for many reasons, it is best not to have them as pets. 8. Bourbol You don't hear many people speak ill of the Bourbol, but the truth must be told. This South African working dog is a blend of native African breeds and other English mastiffs. They are huge, loyal, and stubborn. Despite their stubborn nature, they are often affectionate towards children, provided they are in the right family. While they are not necessarily dangerous, they could be if certain precautions are not taken. First, they are illegal in some territories, and you must stick to the law whether or not you're okay with it. Bourbols are often aggressive towards other dogs, especially those of the same sex. To get them to act normally, socialization is critical. Even at that, they are not breeds to take to the park or a long walk. They can easily free themselves from their leash and wreak havoc. These loyal dogs love their families and require them to spend time with them because they don't do well alone. Like most dogs on this list, they do not like strangers. First-time visitors must alert the homeowner before visiting, as these dogs can pounce on anyone it considers a threat. They do not often attack their owners, but are sometimes hard-headed and not unwilling to listen. It takes an experienced owner to get them to listen and act accordingly. Fatalities from this dog's attacks are limited because they are not widely owned outside South Africa. An American woman who owned five was killed in her home, prompting many U.S. states to ban it. Even if we agree that Borbells are dangerous, they are angels compared to pit bulls. 7. American Bulldog Contrary to today's reality, the American Bulldog was not an aggressive breed. Many say it should be banned in more countries due to the gruesome reports of their attacks. Owners disagree with this assertion. They believe the animal is like every other working dog and would only go overboard when things are not put in place. This dog's intense build makes it scary, even with nothing down its sleeves. A quick Google search for the American Bulldog confirms the stories around the animal. The search results show numerous stories of dog attacks. Dogsbite.org revealed that between 2005 and 2017, there were 433 dog bite fatalities in America. Of this figure, 15 were attributed to the American Bulldog. This may seem insignificant, but it is a big deal, considering human lives were lost. Overall, this animal has an imposing look. Anyone unfamiliar with the breed would wonder about the kind of animal it is. Its squat stature is sometimes interpreted as an aggressive stance. They are also highly athletic and need frequent exercise. Their need to be constantly active also portrays them as being too dangerous. If you own an American Bulldog, rest assured that you have a loyal pet willing to listen to you. They could be timid within the first week of being in a new environment, but with time, they become more familiar and blend into the environment. 6. Doberman Pinscher Doberman Pinscher is one dog that blends calmness and aggression into one. It switches roles depending on the situation and portrays each character excellently. In fact, breeders say they are one of the most loyal breeds on the planet. They make for excellent and gentle family pets when appropriately trained. However, there's a big but. When provoked, they become aggressive even toward their owners. The Doberman will fail the loyalty test if tried. These intelligent dogs served as guard dogs in the past and still fill in those shoes today. They don't accommodate strangers, as no one is allowed to step into the facility they guard, except you're more powerful. It is never the case, though. They are so skilled that they can perceive danger from afar and are on their toes to quell it. This explains why it is one of the most ferocious dogs on the planet. You can understand why livestock farmers need them. With low fat and muscular build, these dogs are built for speed, stamina, and strength. Experts say they can run up to 40 miles per hour. They maintain these high speeds for a long time. They owe this prowess to the greyhound genes. 
Training a Doberman Pinscher is not as tedious as you may think. These dogs are fast learners who wouldn't stress their tutors. Teaching them early makes the job easier. At this stage, they are used to living with you and other friends. If you can't do it alone, speak to a professional to help you. 5. Chow Chow Dogs might be among the friendliest animals, but some breeds are an exception. Chow Chows are different in many ways, mainly because they do not fall into the stereotype of loyal and friendly. This breed is more dangerous to humans than others. They are burdensome to owners who bear responsibility for their actions. This medium-sized dog measures 17 to 20 inches tall and weighs 50 to 75 pounds. It has erect ears, a curled tail, and a broad skull. Without knowing this animal, you're scared about its appearance. Its facial wrinkles are enough reason to stay clear. Chow Chows are not social or outgoing dogs. They prefer to be left alone. When disturbed, they charge at the intruder and may pick a fight. <laughs> These dogs turn out to be nuisance barkers if not controlled. They can easily disturb the peace of the neighborhood, but are pretty intelligent and stubborn, too. Training them isn't the challenge. Would they listen? You may not be patient to teach a pet unwilling to follow simple instructions. They may require intense lectures to nurture their behavior, but have protective instincts that help them guard their homes. This breed is the most ancient of Chinese dogs. They served as hunters, livestock guardians, and sled pullers. They reached the Western world in the late 1800s and are among the top 10 American Kennel Club breeds. 4. Cane Corso The Cane Corso becomes more aggressive if abused by their owner. They respond to ill treatment by taking it out on innocent people. This breed is loyal and intelligent, especially to its owners. However, it requires special treatment to behave well. This dog belongs to a group of working dogs called Molossus, named after Molossi. They were initially bred for war due to their fearlessness and were sent to the battlefront with armor to protect them from arrows. With the decline of Western culture in the 15th century, they were used as guard dogs for livestock farms. However, they became extinct with the introduction of mechanized farming in the 20th century. Luckily, a group of enthusiasts found them and helped increase their population. Experts say that this animal's aggression is dependent on many factors. For instance, purchasing them from a reputable breeder helps to shape their behavior. Their environment also affects their behavior. Due to their intelligence, the Cane Corso is the most easily trained Mastiff breed species. Studies show that harsher training methods increase their aggression by 2.9 times. Unfortunately, there's been reported cases of fatal attacks on their owners, with a bite force of 700 pounds per square inch, you can tell this dog is not one to toy with. When they are not messing around with their owners, they go for strangers. Either way, no one is safe around them. 3. Kuvaz Kuvaz is a large dog with a rectangular body. Although not bulky, they are agile and robust. Their ears are folded, which sets them apart from similar species, while their tail curves up when alert. These all-white dogs are not albinos, but have pigment around their eyes, pads, and nose. Males measure 28 to 300 inches tall and around 115 pounds in weight. Females are 27 inches tall and 80 pounds. Because they are guard dogs, every stranger is a suspect. If given proper training, they can become family members. They are intelligent and may be helpful for some errands. Beyond the cloak of intelligence, they sometimes go overboard and become aggressive. You may be tempted to have one at home, but breeders discourage that. They insist that Kuvaz should remain a guard dog rather than a family companion. To make things worse, they have destructive habits. They are naturally athletic and love to exercise, but this urge diminishes with age. During their peak days, these dogs can destroy anything in the guise of physical exercise. Kuvaz is an ancient breed traced as far back as northern Mesopotamia. They were used as far back as 1300 BC and were named Kuasa, meaning dog horse. 2. Rottweiler Rottweilers have remained friends with humans despite our negative judgment of them. No doubt their exceptional attribute qualifies them as one of the commonest domesticated pets worldwide. Also called the butcher's dog, they were used in Roman times for cart pulling, cattle herding, and bear hunting. Its strength also makes it an efficient working dog. They are also fearless and do not need their owners to guide them on what to do. 
They can go to any length to protect their families from aggressors. This means attacking strangers even when they are domesticated. They are ideal for hunting. That way their owners don't put the lives of others at risk because they are more intelligent than many other dog breeds. They are trained to fit into the military and police. With over 100 pounds of raw strength and pure muscles, you can be assured they'll give it their best. A fully grown Rottweiler is a threat to humans. They don't need to charge at you to threaten you, but their size says a lot. While there is no complete ban on Rottweilers, there are certain restrictions like hanging warning signs, leash restrictions, making the dog wear certain tags, etc. 1. Akita Inu The Akita Inu makes a surprising appearance on the list of banned dogs. Many owners disagree that it is dangerous because they have no reason to believe so. Well, the facts are out there. Like pit bulls, the Akita Inu has a severe scissor-like jaw, meaning it has an extremely powerful bite. Like its role model, it would not let go easily. It is also dangerous thanks to its physique. Males weigh up to 145 pounds and measure up to 26 inches tall. This breed is an innate hunter, meaning it is born to hunt other animals and sometimes humans. While they may seem one of the worst breeds on this list, the Akita Inu would not randomly attack humans. Instead, it would defend its family courageously. In doing so, anyone can be injured. Concerning their hunting instinct, they can be trained to control their urge to attack. Even so, castration is highly recommended. This dog is considered a symbol of prestige and good luck in Japan, its country of origin. See you soon.